how do we solve a rational equation like this one here? And this is the kind of equations that you will have to know for your algebra and pre-calculus class. And here's the deal. We have an equation. This denominator and that denominator, they are different, and we cannot factor this, we cannot factor this. So we can just do one thing, and then we can clear the denominators. And that is, we are going to multiply everybody by the lowest common denominator, which is just this and that. So let's go ahead and put 2x plus 5, and also x plus 2. And this means we'll take this times the first term, and 2x plus 5 will cancel. So we will have the x right here times this, which is the x plus 2. And then we continue, we take this and multiply by that. The x plus 2 will cancel, and this is the minus, and here originally we have the x plus 5. And technically, there's a parenthesis right here. So be sure we use parentheses accordingly. So x plus 5 here, they cancel, but we have this. So the 2x plus 5 is here, and then this is equal to 1 times this. So we'll just multiply them right here, 2x plus 5, and also the x plus 2. So no more fractions, right? But yeah, these kind of equations are usually pretty long. But it's okay, we can handle it. Continue. Multiply the out everything and then combine the terms. So x times that, x squared plus 2x. Good. All right, multiply this out. x times 2x, we get 2x squared. And then this times that is plus 5x. And this times that is plus 10x. And then this times that is plus 25. But this and that is plus 15x. Here we have a minus though, be sure we distribute it inside. So we will have minus 2x squared, and then minus times that is a minus 15x, and then minus times that, minus 25. Just the good old algebra steps for all this. And one more right here. Equals, okay, 2x times x is 2x squared. Okay, just put that result down right here. And then 2x times that is 4x. And this times that is 5x. So together we have plus 9x. Lastly, 5 times 2 is plus 10. Okay, this is actually the quadratic equation. So let's just move things around. Mm, let's actually combine like terms on the same side first. So here we see this and that can be combined as negative x squared. And then this and that is minus 13x. And then minus 25. And with that we have equal to all this. So let me write it down. 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. Okay, because this is negative x squared, this is positive 2x squared. We like to keep the x squared term positive. So let's move these things to the other side. We'll try to get one side equal to 0. So let's add x squared. Let's add x squared so that this and that cancel. And then right here, we'll add 13x and also do the same thing here, 13x. So this and that cancel. And then plus 25, plus 25. So this and that cancel. So we have this equal to zero, but let me write down the result right here first over there. I have more space that way. So this right here, this and that is 2x squared. No, 3. 2 plus 1 is 3x squared. Yeah, so be really careful and then be patient and then just relax when you're doing these kind of questions. Next, 9 plus 13 is 22, so plus 22x. And then this and that is plus 35. And that's equal to the zero that we have right here. Okay, we have a quadratic equation. One side is equal to zero already. So let's try to factor it. Yeah, especially the number is pretty big. So don't try to use quadratic formula. Hopefully this question is not so evil. It's factorable. It is actually. 3x times x. And then to get 35, we need maybe 7 times 5, and uh, I'm going to put, not 7 here, 7 times 3 is 21, that, that wouldn't make it. It's actually 
5 here and 7 here. Check this out. This times that is 15x. This times that is 7x. So, 22x. With that said, we know 3x plus 7 times x plus 5 equal to 0. And this right here is 3x plus 7 equals 0. And then x plus 5 equals 0. Solve this, move the 7 to the other side, and divide the 3 on both sides, x equals negative 7 over 3. Move the 5 to the other side, x equals negative 5. I box the answers. In fact, they are both correct, because this right here, negative 7 over 3, if you put it into the denominators here and here, it wouldn't cause them to be 0. Likewise, negative 5. If you put that into x here and x here, the denominators will not be zero. So they are legitimate. So that's the quick spot check on the bottom. Make sure that the x values that we have here, they don't make the bottom equal zero. And yeah, that's it.